So basically, this uh, interpreter will just interpret uh, what is which category, or what is detection result, and which category belongs to, as well as the detection coordinates. <coughs> This is why you can actually uh, pull from my git later. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Okay. What's the key? <laughs> something like that shows that the image is working let's see whether it can detect you guys This is a mobile net, so do not expect very high accuracy. So you see, the mobile net also runs this slow. What do you expect of the Chinese app that just now I show you? <laughs> <laughs> and the accuracy is like, okay, I can I can detect the front few people, detect my colleagues. Uh, I mean, at the back, you almost, yeah, barely. barely. So yeah. Uh, so, if you let's just go back to, I hope it doesn't take long. Let's finish this. Okay, give me a new one. So yes, just now you can see uh, that is the speed of detection. If we will run an Intel NCS on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, let's just give you a rough figure of what's going on. So you can see that Titan X can run very fast, 33 FPS, cost about, 40, uh, about 45 watt. And I did a simple calculation based on this number. Then we have actually measured the voltage before. It's a constant idling about 41 watt, 45. And it costs about seven dollar twenty cents per month extra on your electric bill, based on the current data rate. So there's uh, Intel six seven zero K with this uh, latest i seven processor. So it runs about seven frames per second and consumes much more power. So uh, for the TX one that we show you just now, that Nvidia board, uh, it actually runs at two point nine frames per second. I I don't know why. Maybe because I'm using a micro SD card. So yeah, it's, it's about 15 watt based on the specification. Uh, Raspberry Pi 3 without the Intel NCS, it's about 0.5 frames per second. It's very slow. It means that if someone, if you were to install a local surveillance system, someone run fast enough, you may not even catch it. Blink of my eye. So 4.5 actually give you a better, safer margin with Intel NCS. So that's probably something better. That and it costs about the same per month if you were to deploy it. So you don't have to keep running, and your parents will not complain about why do you spend so much on your distribute. Uh, deep learning is very power hungry. Yeah, and uh, that's all for my talk. Do you have any questions? I'm wondering if you actually see people using Intel NCS in the production system. Do you, do you think it's feasible? Uh, in production system, uh, you will not be using the USB based uh, because the USB still have some bottleneck. It's 
uh, better to use the chip directly. So basically, inside have 12 VPUs. So people just take out the small chip and use some other protocol to communicate, which is much faster, like DSP. So uh, with USB, you almost guarantee that you have a bottleneck somewhere. So when the when the image gets transferred in, come out. So you you have some yeah latencies. faced by researchers as well for anyone who's doing autonomous vehicle uh, because there are a lot of data sets on cars and humans uh, but there are not a lot of data sets on bicycles and because of that uh, you have you if you put in bicycles the amount of data set is so little then when you put it inside the model you have a data skew problem <coughs> so the network is biased towards detecting human car and when you give an image with car, human, and bicycle, the bicycle is unlikely to be detected. So one way to down is to downsample all the data and make sure every single data is about the same amount as the weakest link, which is the bicycle. But then that causes overall uh, accuracy drop in your network because you lack of other type of data. So yeah, uh, you guys can contribute to the bicycle data set. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you augment the pictures, uh, you can augment one picture and produce four pictures, but you have only 1,000 bicycle data sets, for example. You have 4K. But you look at cars, they are like 150,000. Then uh, if you augment that amount, it's much higher. But if you leave it that amount, it's also fine. You uh, Data augmentation is one of the methods to increase the data set, definitely. But if the data set is very little, there's only that much you can do. Oh, uh, so uh, at this point of time, it's just toys, for example. <laughs> I, I actually built a simple surveillance app uh, for, for my own purpose. Uh, I just, <laughs> when you detect a human being, you send me an email. That's all it can do for now. Uh, definitely, you can, if you look at application at a larger scale, uh, since Singapore is doing this thing called smart lamp posts. <coughs> so this kind of uh, frame rate is actually, I think, is acceptable for smart lamp posts, given that you are detecting someone who is walking on the pavement and you are trying to detect the space, trying to match the database. I think uh, you have uh, better use cases. But for anyone who is trying to do hobby stuff, this Intel NCS can uh, give you, give your robot for example, someone who's doing robot, Roomba or whatever, uh, it gives you a robot some sort of uh, vision capabilities. 
other than just touch sensors, maybe bump around. But there are also other type of uh, computer vision embedded system around that you can try out. This is more flexible in a way. Is it possible to run multiple units of that? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Something I forgot to cover. This one can scale up to four. Oh. Linear speed increase. So another thing to remember is that uh, this form factor is a bit weird. So if you don't buy a USB extension, if you don't buy a USB extension, you will cock up all your uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi USB sockets. So you cannot find any mouse or whatever. So you have to you have a USB 3.0 extension. So yeah, that's why. <laughs> I did not realize this as well. Uh, the, the limit of flow is a hardware limit or the software? I think it's been tested by Intel NCS. They reported that it's four. But if you have a, if you have a, a USB hub that's like 12 sockets, you can feel free to try out 12 of them and see whether whether it works. But those uh, each state also draws power. So your power capability may not be high enough as well if you scale too high. Take one more question. This one cannot change. This is only for inference. This cannot change. For training, I have to use a uh, GPU. Yeah. Even a uh, CPU also can. <laughs> Too slow. Okay, uh, there's no further questions. I think that's all for today. The speakers will still be around. So if you want to ask them questions, you can stick around to ask them questions. Uh, if not, thank you very much for coming down today. Um, the next meetup is around second or third week of May. So we'll let you all know through Facebook again. So uh, thank you very much for the support, for coming down over. Thank you very much. Thank you.